you may disagree with the ordering of weapons, but these are the best guns in COD Mobile right now. AGR is a better CBR4, offering fast and consistent time to kill in close range and competitive time to kill till 43 meters, with one of the best bullet spread for SMGs. ADS speed is on the slow side, but ADS movement is fast and faster than assault rifles for the use for playing versatile. 40 bullets in mag is alright, but could be better, but reload speed is on the slow side and may cause issues when playing aggressive. Her fast spread is good for close range gunfights. And the fire rate is moderate. It is on the faster side compared to an assault rifle but not as fast as SMGs like CBR4. But there are problems. The iron sight isn't very user friendly and aim shake is bad that I need to use red dot. The sprays can be a bit inconsistent as recall goes left to right quickly forcing us to play mid range as we might lose long range gunfights against assault rifles. My personal gunsmith uses tactical suppressor when using red dot or sleight of hand when playing aggressive and I only use the range build when I have the speed skin. But you can use PGW as recall is better giving us consistent sprays at the con of worse bullet spread while still maintaining good hip fire for close range. The good tactical range is slightly improved till 26 meters and we have 40 meters of effective range with fast ADS speed and even faster ADS movement. But the reload speed is worse why I carry a pistol to help clutch up in close range when necessary and also use sleight of hand on my personal build. The iron side is an improvement with red dot not being needed. Overall, PW is also a CBR4 alternative and feel free to use it. But I have one more mention, PP19 Bison. It is one of the most annoying weapons to play against in ranked as it has no recall. We can do just pull down and effortlessly beam it even at range with fast ADS speed and ADS movement making it good for playing aggressive and huge max size with more bullets than LMGs allowing us to prey and spray easily and we don't need really good aim to do well with bison. It is so easy to use, even a beginner to the game will do well without much practice. The range is also similar to the other versatile SMGs and iron sights are good and no need to use red dot. With good bullet spread allowing us to play versatile with pretty good hip fire in close range. The only real con would be slower fire rate as if we miss shots we will lose against other faster firing SMGs. The hitbox is also a con and we will need to aim above the waist as much as possible. But we can use large caliber ammo so not a big issue. Overall bison is great for minimal cons and tons of advantages and you should definitely use it if you're having a bad day with other weapons. And now is a good time to leave a like and comment something nice to help support the video. M13 is a very good option option for playing versatile as we get the second fastest fire rate for assault rifles with SMG like ADS speed and good ADS movement but it can be improved with mini barrel. 60 plus in mag is good especially since the fire rate is so fast but reload speed is a con for playing aggressive. We get good range and time to kill for playing versatile with 42 meters of effective range with bullet speed being a concern but it is fast enough to not be a con and the bullet spread is like a laser in this range with pretty easy recall pattern but it may be a bit hard to control as recall goes up so fast that even if you do just pull down, spraying accurately at range will take some practice. The iron stat is usable but red dot can be used if necessary, otherwise I like using the battle pass iron side. And if far as worse compared to guns like CBR4 or Fennec and I recommend to ADS and shoot to maintain accuracy. M13 is good because it doesn't have many cons and once you get used to using the weapon the challenging recall isn't a big issue and we can play M13 like an SMG while still use it like an assault rifle to challenge mid to long range. But we can also use Growl for this playstyle. I know, Growl got some criticism, but hear me out. With my versatile gunsmith, we get 20 meters of fast and consistent time to kill with nearly 45 meters of effective range, which is good for playing versatile. It has bullet speed, but bullet speed is fast enough to not be a problem. A problem is bullet spread, as it is similar to SMGs like PDW or Bison, and can cause issues when spraying at long range, but can use this build if you play range range more. Recall is easy and will be good for doing no recall sprays at range. And it has good hip fire in close range, similar to SMGs, so we can hip fire when needed. Base iron sight can be a problem but with the nexus barrel we get good iron sights and red dot isn't necessary. Fire rate is medium but still faster than assault rifles like Kilo 141, F24 or Quick 6. And we get fast ADS movement with pretty good ADS speed allowing us to play close range with 50 bullets in mag but slow reload speed which can be a con when playing aggressive. Growl is a solid choice for playing versatile and feel free to use it, it is not bad. And for more analysis and best gunsmith builds, you can join our Discord server. BKM is an underrated LMG. It has potential for 3 shot kills.
kill from close to mid range with infinite four shot at any range with 285 mils against time to kill, making it perform really good at all ranges. But for the cons of slower mobility and slow reload speed, fire rate is moderate, same as LK24, so it is usable for playing passive and beaming at range which is made easier thanks to the vertical recall pattern, which is easy to no recall by doing just pull down. And Blast is amazing making PKM shoot like a laser beam. Hip fire is bad so don't bother hip firing in close range and with the slow mobility, don't bother going into close range at all. Just focus on playing passive and holding angles and take mid to long range gunfights as much as possible. Iron sights are usable and red dot is necessary, but use the battle pass skin as the iron sights are better on it. The only problem on PKM, apart from the slow ADS speed and slow reload speed is the camera shake as the entire FOV shakes when shooting, but we get used to it as we play more. For what we will use PKM for, it performs amazing. And if you don't like how slow it is, continue watching, I show some assault rifles for this playstyle. But before that, UL736 can be used for this playstyle as well. It has huge 4 shot range, with potentially getting 4 shot till 58 meters by hitting 1 shot around the chest area. But it has much better ADS speed and the reload speed is also faster. But mobility is similar to PKM and we get lesser bullets in mag. This is why people usually prefer UL instead of PKM as we can play it a bit more agile thanks to the better ADS speed and reload load speed. But if you want consistent 4 shot, then BKM will be better. Recall is easy to beam at range and we get good bullet spread with attachments. The iron sets are really clean making red dot unnecessary. And hip fire is better than PKM and we can hip fire in close range when needed. PKM and UL are used for the same playstyle so feel free to use either. But both are kind of hard to use in ranked as it forces us to play passive and in my opinion using a mid to long range assault rifle would be better. Which brings us to the next weapon, assault rifle. Watch the next part here and share this video with your friends so they can also use the best guns in COD Mobile. I will see you in the next video. Bye.